Hi guys, so this is a video unlike the rest of my videos because we just put shiplap up in, we did DIY plywood shiplap up in our bedroom and in another room and you can see over here we just did one wall in this room and we did one wall in the other room and this is the video that did not exist when we were putting this up that I wish freaking existed. I made a list because this is stuff you should know if you're gonna do DIY shiplap in your house. If you are like an amazing construction person, this video is not for you, okay? This is for the people like me that don't know what they're doing and they get all their information from YouTube and Pinterest and various blogs. Um, and I'll put the blogs and the Pinterest and the videos and all that stuff that I used that was really helpful for me. This is not a how-to. so. Those people are really good at telling you how to do it. I'm gonna tell you what I wish I knew before I did it. Number one, the amount of time that you're going to spend at Home Depot or Lowe's or your neighborhood hardware store, if you're a good person and you support small business, is ridiculous. I sent my husband there, I gave him an hour, I thought that was enough time to get all the boards ripped down um, amongst renting of tools and such. It was not enough time. He was there for an hour. We went together for an hour and a half, I think, and we split up and we took the full hour and a half and we already had the boards cut. He had already done that earlier in the morning. So you need a lot of time because you're gonna go to the tool rental section and they're gonna be like, well, do you need a miter saw or do you need a table saw or do you need a jigsaw? Do you even need to be renting this stuff could you just buy a jigsaw? And you're like, I don't know. Do I need a miter saw? Let's look at it. Can we fit that in the car? Can we fit a table saw? I don't know. We got a jigsaw and it was useful for us if you have a lot of like cuts around things like window frames or stuff like that. It is handy to have a jigsaw. Um, it would be nice to have had something like a table saw or a miter saw because we would have had a straighter edge on the you know, like these cuts, but um, because a jigsaw and plywood, not the most high quality wood, don't give you the straightest edge. So, but that's what we used and it was fine. But you're gonna freaking, your mind is gonna go on overload at Home Depot because you don't know what to get and they don't have the right, like, brad nails that you need. It's a whole thing. Um, oh, buy this or it's equivalent. Spend the $10, at a certain point during the evening, you will not be able to tell anyone your own name or add two plus two. Your mind goes to lunch. So this makes drawing a line on the plywood so easy. Just buy it. It was my favorite thing all day. Sanding. Okay, so one of the videos that I will recommend to you because it's very good content wise and I should know her name and I don't. But she was like, everyone makes it sound like sanding's really easy, and it is easy. But we only did two small walls. Um, and it took us, at, I wasn't timing it at the time, it took us at least an hour and a half to do the sanding. The sanding took forever. And no one tells you that in these videos. So they're like, let me sand it, and it's so easy. No, it's not. It takes forever and you want to shoot somebody because you're like, am I still sanding this stuff? This is so dumb. Why did I ever agree to do this? Or actually, why did I ever suggest that we do this? Because there was, I came up with it. Anyway, um, also with the sanding, you want to have an electric little mouse sander. That is going to be your BFF during that time because if you had to do all that junk by hand, again, your throttle and your threshold for like patience would be greatly diminished and that's gonna happen anyway. So you want it to happen later in the day as opposed to earlier in the day. Um, oh, yes, okay, this is really important. At some point before you start all of this, you should look at your betrothed, your husband, your wife, whoever you're doing this with and just maybe go over your marriage vows or something with them. Or if you're not married, like establish like, why do I like you? Why do you like me? Because you're both gonna forget why you like each other about four or five hours in. And you're gonna be like, why did I marry you? Like, why are we doing this? This is the most dumb thing I've ever done. You can't add, I can't believe you can't cut a straight line. 
even though you've never cut anything before with a power tool, you should be able to do it perfectly and you're sucking. You're failing at being a husband. <laughs> All of those thoughts. And he will be like, why did you ever want to do this shiplap thing? I would have been fine with blue walls all the way around the room. None of this will actually leave my, it didn't leave our mouths, but I promise you there were inner monologues that were very vivid going on. <laughs> and so I think it would have been good if we just would have taken a moment to be like, I love you. This is why I love you. Let's just check in throughout the day on why we love each other. Okay. Oh, in line with that. If it's a new, like we hadn't moved into our house yet, so there was no air conditioner in the house. Um, so it was really hot and my husband literally looked like he had been running a marathon. He's a big guy, like he's six, seven, but he like was schwitzing majorly the whole time. And I was like, let's turn the fan on. I don't know. Um, have a box fan pointed at your significant other, if they are of large stature, have some snacks, have some Gatorade, be prepared for the crabbiness, treat them like they're a child. And also, you will fall to this too, so grab some goldfish for yourself, a little lemonade, something that makes you happy, and bring it with you because it gets super real after like four or five hours. That's the threshold. I was like, ugh. Okay. Nickels or pennies. Okay, we had two American nickels and one Canadian nickel, which I was extremely prejudiced against because I was like, no, it's not an American nickel. I don't know if it's the right size. Um, we lost one of the American nickels, so the Canadian nickel started looking really good. I don't even know if they call them nickels, but it was five cents. So to me, that's a nickel. Um, have a bunch of them because you are going to lose them a lot. And then again, you're going to look at your husband and be like, you can't that nickel was right there. You don't know where it is? Like, are you serious? So, save your marriage, have more nickels, have like a whole bunch, like a whole thing of them. And also, they fall out. Everyone makes it look really easy on the videos. They're like, just stick the nickel in, and you know, that's how wide it should be apart. The nickels are like, bye! And they're just kamikaze off left and right because the, the space is not consistent because you were cheap and bought plywood <laughs> instead of buying real shiplap. So was I, no judgment, but that's what's happening. So you need more than one nickel or two, especially when you have a long board, okay? In line with that, occasionally, like we would put the board up, you know, there's a board here and we would put the board up on top and there was a huge gap and the nickel was like, you could fit four nickels in there. And I was like, ugh, what are we gonna do? So you don't have to flip it over and see the knotty side. You'll know what I mean if you're doing this. But you can literally, sorry, I'm getting texts. Flip it all the way over so the nice side is still out. But that worked a lot, that worked every time for us to get it tighter. It just, I don't know, it worked out. So those are my tips that I wish I knew before we did shiplap. Painting at that point seemed super easy, I will tell you. Um, I didn't do it, my husband did the painting, but I think compared to what we had already been through, the painting was really easy. Um, we did not cover up the brad nails, I don't know if you can see it, um, because Joanna Gaines didn't cover up the brad nails. That's the real reason. I went and looked at all of her stuff and her brad nails were not covered up. So I went, you know what, if it's good enough for Joanna Gaines, it's good enough for me. And she's who I'm copying anyway. So that's it. Okay, have fun with your shiplap. I'm sure it's gonna be beautiful. Okay, bye. <laughs>